Uh, good morning, I'm J.B. Jett with the Cooperative Tree Improvement Program at NC State University. We're in South Georgia doing this beautiful spring morning uh, at the Arrowhead Seed Orchard and doing some bagging in preparation for controlled pollination work which will take place in about a week. The flowers are coming along well, they're at the absolutely perfect stage to be bagging. And let me show you the, uh, the count here. Now, I already counted these. We have uh, 18 in in this bag, and uh, want to uh, go through the procedure involved in preparing this. The first thing I'm going to do is to clear away the needles, where I'm going to put a piece of pipe insulation, which will act as a gasket to seal the pollination bag and prevent the entry of foreign contaminating pollen. You can see just a standard piece of pipe insulation. Get that in place. And now I need to secure a pollination bag. And let me put the count. This is bag number four. And there are 18 flowers in it. And our pollination bag is a PBS International excellent bag with a window that allows you to view the, the uh, flowers and to follow flower development stage of the development. So let's put that over and let me open the window for you. And what I want to do is adjust this so that I have the tips of these uh, terminal buds with the flowers about a third of the way up from the bottom of the bag to a half. What I want to avoid is as this grows, and it will, jamming into the top of the bag. So I'm trying to provide some room for expansion of that leader and subsequent growth. All right, this is a common cable tie. Makes this a very speedy job. I'm going to pull this very, very securely to prevent any leakages. Expand the bag a little bit to make sure it's laying well and see we have it at about half position in the bag. That's all that's in, really involved in the thing. Uh, and we're ready to go on to the next one.